Let's think about how you might answer a question like this. We need to ask the user to enter their password. We're going to keep asking them to re-enter until it is equal to test123 when it is output. Thanks. Well, your first job is to try to figure out what construct we need to use here. And we need to use, if we're doing Python code, a while loop. And it's because we're told to keep asking them to re-enter. Now, that implies we need to have a loop because we are repeating code. It needs to be a while loop because we don't know how many times the user is going to get it wrong. It could be once, it could be five times, it could be a million times. So we can't use a for loop, it has to be a condition controlled while loop. So first job is just to ask the user to enter their password. Now to do the actual while loop. Well, what is our condition going to be here? I always describe a while loop as being quite negative. It focuses on what we don't want to happen here. And in this case, we don't want the user to type in something different to test one, two, three. In other words, we want it to be equal to test one, two, three. Anything else is wrong and should cause the code to loop. So therefore our condition needs to be while the password is not equal to test one, two, three. Under these circumstances, we want the code to loop and we want the user to be asked to re-enter. Now, a really common mistake is people doing something like this and putting a print inside the while loop and nothing else. What would happen if we run this code? Well, we would get, if we get it wrong, an infinite loop. So if I type in hi as my password, that's wrong. And so the while loop runs and it runs infinitely, which is not good. And that actually crashed my window. So let's not do that. To avoid it, we need to basically make sure our input line is repeated because we need to give the user a chance to get it right the next time they're asked. The whole point of this code is we're re-asking the user they need to have a chance to re-enter it. And the last job is to output thanks when this is done correctly. Well, the while loop is gonna keep repeating, repeating, repeating until they eventually type in test one, two, three. So therefore when the while loop ends and I unindent my code, this code will only run if my while loop is finished. The while loop only finishes if the user types in test one, two, three correctly.